Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install Nitex V OptiScaler mod in Red Dead Redemption Part 2 running on my ROG Ally with Windows 11 I have the set one extreme variant of this device Using this mod I will be enabling FSR version 3.1.2 Upscaler and Frame Generation in Red Dead Redemption 2 Now the mod setup process in this game is not straightforward Before installing the mod you need to make sure the game's display mode is set to borderless full screen from the in-game settings Otherwise the game will crash at startup after the mod is installed, I will be using ASI Loader to inject the mod into the game. We will be downloading ASI Loader separately. We will be using fake Macaus, fake NV API to enable anti-lag 2 in this game. In order to use anti-lag 2 on your ROG Ally, you need to install AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline version 24.7.1 or anything newer than that. On my Ally, I have installed AMD's latest preview GPU driver which is optimized for Dragon Age the Veil card. We will be using version 0.7, preview 64 build of OptiScaler. This build is not available on OptiScaler's GitHub page, so I will provide its direct download link in the description of the video, or you can just look for it on OptiScaler's Discord server. First, I will just show you the in game settings. Need to set the display mode to borderless full screen. This is the Rockstar launcher version of the game. In game graphics setting, I have set the resolution to 900p. Screen type, very important. Set it to windowed borderless. Vsync and triple buffering disabled. Texture quality set to high. Isotropic filtering set to 16 times. Rest of the settings set to medium. FSR2 upscaler enable quality does not matter. That's it with the in-game settings. For this game, I'm using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Show you the adrenaline settings as well. Pre-sync and V-sync enable, that's it, don't need to enable anti-lag, we'll be using anti-lag too. First I'll be installing OptiScaler mod, and just extract the mod's contents, open the zip file, copy all of the files and folders present in this zip file, go back, paste, open DLSS overrides folder, execute this registry file, enable signature, override, yes, ok. Go back. Now you need to change the name of nvngx.dll file to optiscaler.asi file. Right click. Show more options. Rename. Select all. Type optiscaler.asi. This will change the file's extension. Yes. Now just open nvngx.ini file. Scroll down until you find NV API section. It's in the middle. There it is. Just need to set override NV API DLL to true. By default, it's set to auto. Click on file, click on save, close. Now just copy the highlighted files. Don't need to copy the two folders and the archive file. Copy these five files. Need to paste them in the games install directory. This is for Rockstar launcher version of the game. Just click on settings here. Click on Red Dead Dimension 2. Now click on view installation folder. Open. There it is. Second tab. This is the game's install directory. There is the game's exe file. Paste the mod files here. Give the permission. Continue. Now just create a copy of nvngx underscore dlss.tll file present in the game's install directory. Right click, copy, paste, continue, change its name to nvngx.tll, there is the copy, right click, show more options, rename, nvngx, now I will paste the files corresponding to fake nv api, you can download its files for free from github, I will give the link in the description of the video, click on release this section. This is the latest release at the time of recording this video 1.2 Click on fake nvapi.7z There's the archive file, open it Select and copy the two files present inside this archive file Paste them in the games install directory Where you pasted the OptiScaler mod files right here Give the permission continue Process complete Now I'll be using ultimate ASI loader to inject the mod into the game you can download it from github, we will give its link in the description scroll down until you find the assets section click on ultimate asi loader x64 
dot.zip there's the archive file open it copy this dll file d input 8 paste it in the games install directory right here continue that's it all of the mods have been installed now we're ready to run the game play game did not crash at startup it worked in game settings now you can switch to full screen mode if you want entirely up to you just increase the resolution from 720p to 900p settings got reset vsync off nvidia reflex low latency setting got unlock enable triple buffering disable texture quality high resource settings set to medium DLSS setting got unlocked and just set it to quality apply the settings need to restart the game after scale frame generation feature does not work properly in this game it produces occasional flickering across the minimap it's not very distracting though some flickering is also produced during the cutscenes when the black bars show up on the top and bottom sides and this flickering only lasts for a few seconds so not a big deal Using adrenaline's overlay to show you the performance metrics, make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background, otherwise OptiScaler mod won't work properly. I've set the UMA buffer size to 5GB, my LI sending one bias version 441. We are in, just press the insert key to open OptiScaler menu. From this drop down bar, you can select the upscaler. If you are using XCSS upscaler, and observe some flickering during the night time just enable auto exposure setting this is xss version 1.3.1 and just switch to fs 3.x upscaler it's version 3.1.2 frame generation disable for the time being and that's it for the settings i'll enable anti lag to latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo all shift nl keep pressing the combo cycle through the display options here you go Current location Saint Denis. It's one of the most demanding areas in this game. Here FPS is close to 50. And this is the game running without frame generation. Decent performance. Latency value is around 46 milliseconds. Now I'll enable frame generation. Hardfix setting disable for the time being, frame generation on, back to the game, yeah you can see minimap is flickering, can observe the added amount of smoothness, FPS increased to around 80, hard is flickering, latency value increased to around 53 milliseconds, roughly an 8 to 9 millisecond increase in latency, with frame generation on, not bad at all, real world input delay even the crosshair is flickering show you the debug view no display in the bottom right rectangle HUD element is visible in the bottom middle image and just enable FG HUD fix setting and set the limit value to 2 check the debug view Display is working for the bottom right rectangle. HUD element is gone now from the bottom middle image. Here is the thing, when I move the camera in complete circles, minimap occasionally appears in the bottom middle image. Very difficult to observe it on a small display like <laughs> the one on ROG Ally. So you can definitely play the game this way. During the real world gameplay, the minimap will flicker occasionally like for half a second. Very difficult to observe it if you are not paying attention. I shouldn't have told you this. I'll just explore the area on horseback. See, hard elements not flickering. It's fixed now. So smooth. Minimap flickered there, see? 
no big deal let's check out the performance here oh my god fell down flat on my face what happened there poor horse I hope it did not die all good look at that smoke coming out of that factory go this way more demanding lot of non playable characters here perfect for testing the game anyone who has played red dead redemption 2 knows how demanding this area is 60 fps oh my god ran over that guy VRAM usage is around 4 GB, 3.6 to 4 GB. It's a bit variable. Go this way. I want to show you a cutscene. Train in the background. Guns out. Look at this scene. Factory in the background. Water stream. Latency values within the range of 55 to 60 milliseconds. Subtitles not flickering. NPC interact with him. Start a mission. Black bars. There is some flickering around these black bars. Lasted for about a second. Skip the cutscene. I'll be controlling this toy battleship. We launch the torpedo missiles to destroy these things. Steer. There you go. 90 FPS. So excellent performance using Nitex Optics Killer Mod. Just some occasional flickers around the mini map. That's about it. You can even use XSS subscriber if you want. Entirely up to you. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.